Welcome back. So we are going to talk about how the internet actually works. Which image instantly comes to your mind when you think about the internet? For most people, it's the clouds. They look up when they think about internet. But even in this current world of cloud computing, that's not true. Internet, think of internet as this one really long wire that's buried underneath the ground, and right underneath your feet. Now, this wire transmits data. Internet is basically a network of computers, and all these computers are networked through this one wire called the internet. This wire that I call internet could be copper wire, or it could be the fiber optics, or sometimes it could also be the, the rays beam through the satellite, right? Now, these are all different ways, but essentially, this is how we connect to the internet. A web server is a computer that's directly connected to this wire, okay, also called the internet. A communication happens between one web server to another. The data is being transmitted through this wire called the internet. Now, the files or the web pages are basically the files on those web servers, okay? Every time you see a website, the pages on those websites are like the files on the hard disk of that server, okay? Now, every server actually has a unique ID, just like you have a physical address, like a, a home address or a ho office address, just like that, every web, web server on the internet actually has something called an IP address, also called as internet protocol address that uniquely identifies that that is the web server. In order for people to understand the IP address, we give it names like www.facebook.com or www.google.com. They are essentially the IP addresses of the web servers of each of those companies. Now, every server needs to be connected to this internet in order to communicate. Now think about this, if you are using a laptop or a PC at home, when you do some, let's say a chat or send an, send an email, you're not directly communicating on the internet in the sense it's not really connected to the internet directly. Your client PC is actually connected to your internet service provider, who in turn is connected to the internet, right? So in a way, you are indirectly connected to the internet, not really through your, through your own PC, but through the internet service provider. Okay, now, if you understand that concept clearly, it's amazing. You are, you are among the very few people who truly understand how the internet actually works. In the next topic, we are going to understand how the Google search engine works. So, until the next topic, stay tuned.